Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we will explore the coolest ways to use artificial intelligence. So here is how I got this idea. I recently joined a chat GPT Facebook group and I saw people roasting their pics with chat GPT. It was hilarious. So I had to try it out myself. But then I thought, why stop there? My friend had sent me an Arabic receipt that I could read and understand like 75% but not exactly 100%. So I wondered if chat GPT could translate it for me. Spoiler alert, it totally did. And then I got even more curious. Could chat GPT handle interpreting some complex nanotechnology images? Well, we are about to find out. So if you are into artificial intelligence, tech or just curious about the endless possibilities with chat GPT, hit that subscribe button and let's dive in. So let us start with some fun stuff. So I'm going to do what the people on that uh, Facebook group were doing. I'm going to post my image to chat GPT and in order to upload images at chat GPT, um, you have to sign in. So I already, I already logged in into chat GPT. Uploading my picture and I'm going to ask chat GPT to roast me. Let us see what it does. Well, it came up with a lot of hilarious stuff. You know, this looks like the kind of LinkedIn profile you would see on top of top 10 professionals to follow list, except, except it's uh, more like top 10 reasons your boss still uses Internet Explorer. Uh, well, you know, that really hurts. Now it has to cheer me up, you know. What's up with this now? Okay, cool. Well, that really helps. So it's saying like I'm, I'm using cutting edge technology to help inspire futuristic students into this field. And I'm happy with this. Now, uh, let us go ahead with the second one. And the second one is, so I actually received a receipt um, for a project. It was actually a paid project. And I got the receipt in Arabic. And I could understand that received like 75% but not exactly 100%. So I thought about uploading it to chat GBD and use its help to translate the receipt for me. So I'm going to ask chat GBD to translate. Trans. So now you see like it translated everything for me and now I got no problem. I can totally understand it. So um, then uh, a, f a couple of days after that, I thought about using it like I thought it was a nice tool. And I thought about using it in the field of nanotechnology to interpret complex nanotechnology images and to help generate reports. And uh, I thought it was going to be really useful um, in my field. It's, it's going to save some time for me. So uh, in that regard, 
I had previously worked on Indium gadium phosphide, gadium arsenide based double junction solar cell. And I performed the simulation of this tandem solar cell using the Silvaco technology computer added design tool. And I can show you some results for that. Like for example, here is the Silvaco T-card structure, um, the uh, absolute net doping, the doping profiles, energy band diagram, and then the photogeneration rates, photon absorption rates, energy band diagram under light, uh, IV characteristics, the power curve, um, the internal ex and external quantum efficiency, etc. And then these are the figures of mirror, the output characteristics, the performance characteristics of this uh, indium gallium phosphide gallium arsenide based uh, double junction solar cell. So, I already have created a structure for this and based on that uh, structure, like uh, here is the structure. Um, so you see, um, I had uh, created this figure in which we have up to 11, we have 11 number of layers and the description of each layer is given. So I wanted to upload this image to chat GPT and then enter the figures of mirrored information to chat GPT and then I'm, I, I wanted to ask chat GPT to interpret the results for me and create a comprehensive report based on that. So, um, so let us do that. Uh, here is my chat DVD. First, I'm going to upload the image. We go to downloads, artificial intelligence and nanotechnology. And then I upload this image to chat GBT. And I'm going to ask it some information. So then let us look at the performance parameters. Um, from this I got an efficiency of 19.92, fill factor of 86.6, short circuit current density of 13 point, approximately 13.25, milliamps per centimeter square and an open circuit voltage of approximately 
So I'm asking Chad GBD, this is a double junction indium gallium phosphide gallium arsenide solar cell layer structure diagram. From Silva Gutierrez simulation, I found out the performance parameters for this solar shell cell, which are an efficiency of 19.92%, fill factor of 86.6%, uh, short circuit current density of 13.25 milliamps per centimeter square, and an open circuit voltage of 1.74 volts. Uh, please give a comprehensive description of the layer structure diagram related to the output characteristics and to the literature as well. Interpret the results. And I'm going to hit enter now. So now it's generating the results. And now it's picking information from each and every layer now as you can see it's giving me the layer breakdown so for the top cell it's saying i got a window layer which is based on indium aluminum gallium phosphide its thickness is 30 nanometers it is p type its doping concentration is 2 into 10 to the power of 18 per centimeter cube and its function is it serves as a window layer to reduce recombination losses at the surface then the next layer is 50 nanometers indium gallium phosphide which acts as an emitter layer its doping concentration is given its function is given uh, then the information about the base layer is given the information about the base surface field is given and furthermore um, information about uh, uh, the gallium arsenide layers is given then the information about cell number two is given gallium arsenide uh, window layer in that one as well uh, the emitter layer the base layer the base surface field layer etc etc and then it starts talking about the performance parameters about the output characteristics efficiency um, and it says the top cell absorbs the high energy photons and the bottom cell absorbs the lower energy photons leading to more efficient overall energy conversion uh, then it interprets the results for a fill factor the short circuit current density and the open circuit voltage as well and then it gives an interpretation uh, and literature correlation as you can see over here then it gives you a nice conclusion as well and if you want to make it more comprehensive you can just write down make it even more comprehensive So as you can see it's still generating the results and it's uh, gonna create an even more comprehensive report as compared to the previous one so as you can see artificial intelligence um, in this case uh, chat chat GPT is a really useful tool that you can utilize uh, for your own purpose in the field of nanotechnology
So it has created a really comprehensive report based on your layer structure diagram and based on your output characteristics. So then you can just like copy all this information and paste it into Microsoft Word document somewhere else. Um, now that this part is done, I also want to show you something else. And by the way, um, this is actually, I already showed a simulation of tandem solar cells, Silvago Digger simulation, uh, which is based on indium gallium phosphide gallium arsenide. And I have posted um, the Silvago Digger simulation of this structure on my YouTube channel, as you can see over here. So if you are interested in more details about this uh, Silvago Digger simulation, you can, you can always visit my uh, YouTube channel. Um, now, let us further explore um, the utilization of chat GPT in order to interpret some more results for uh, uh, designing of solar cells, for example. So, uh, for example, here is the layer structure diagram of a quantum dot solar cell and it's uh, you can see there are actually 40 number of layers in this quantum dot solar cell i worked on one layer of quantum dot solar cell 10 layers 20 30 and 40 layers quantum dot solar cells and i compiled the results for them um, the design and simulation work was done in silva gutique software and i've not picked a lot of results for these i've just picked a couple of results for these so I'm going to upload these three figures to chat GBD and ask uh, chat GBD to enter to create a comprehensive report for me based on these three figures. So let us do that. Let us go to downloads, artificial intelligence and nanotechnology, and upload these three figures. And now I gotta give ChatGPT some information. Like for example, this is a This is a 40 layers quantum dot solar cell. with indium tin oxide, nickel oxide as full transport layer, zinc oxide as electron transport layer, and cadmium telluride as the quantum dot layers. We gotta give it some more information as well. The indium tin oxide has a layer thickness of 10 nanometers, nickel oxide 50 nanometers, and zinc oxide 100 nanometers. The quantum dot size is 5 nanometers by 10 nanometers.
The doping concentration of the nickel oxide and zinc, zinc oxide layers are 2 into 10 to the power of 19 and 5 into 10 to the power of 18 per centimeter cube, respectively. And I already know the output characteristics for uh, this uh, quantum dot solar cell. The structure has a short circuit current density of 24.2 milliamps per centimeter square, open circuit voltage of 0.99 volts, fill factor of 77.66% and efficiency of 18.55%. Furthermore, I got to tell you that the structure was simulated in Silvaco TCAD please explain the structure and its performance parameters so this is mostly about the first figure um, now let us talk about the second and third figure as well So um, the second and third figure show a comparison of the number of layers in the quantum dot solar cell, the efficiency and IV characteristics for the 1, 10, 20, 30 and 40 layers quantum dots are given. Please interpret the results and create a comprehensive comparison report on this. So I have shown the layer structure diagram for the 40 layers quantum dot solar cell but not for the 1, 10, 20, and 30 layers quantum dot solar cells. However, um, a comparison of these different, uh, of the variation of the number of quantum dot layers uh, versus efficiency and IV characteristics are given in the second and third figure. So I'm asking Chad GBD to interpret the results and create a comprehensive comparison report on this. And then I hit enter and let us see what happens. So it has already started creating a structure description about the different layers in the quantum dot solar cell. It's giving the layer thickness information of each uh, layer as well. It's talking about the cadmium telluride quantum dot layers. 
um, and then it's talking about the performance parameters of this quantum dot solar cell uh, then it has interpreted the efficiency information of the one layer, 10 layers, 20 layers, 30 layers, and 40 layers quantum dot solar cells. Uh, then it also talks about the comparison of the IV characteristics for different quantum dot layers, as you can see over here. And then here is a comprehensive comparison report. So as you can see that chat gpt can really help us interpret complex experiments or design figures related to the field of nanotechnology if you can smartly use it you can it can really help you create uh, reports for you interpret the results for you you can also do a lot of other stuff with it like for example if you have experimental results um, about the doping concentration of a particular semiconductor you can just enter the figure over here and it can interpret the activation energy for you which is kind of a complex process for a lot of students and researchers in this field so uh, this is just a food for thought uh, but you can utilize chat gpt and artificial intelligence in many more ways in order to help you out in the field of uh, nanotechnology so that's it folks uh, from roasting my picture to translating receipts and even diving into nanotechnology chat gpt has seriously impressed me it all started with a facebook group but now i'm seeing just how powerful and versatile this artificial intelligence really is and if you are amazed too, leave a comment and let me know what other crazy ideas you want to see next. Stay tuned for more artificial intelligence experiments because with ChatGPT, the possibilities are endless. Keep exploring, stay curious, and I will catch you in the next video. Adios.